Hi everyone, it's me Jamshed Aza from professionaltutorial.com and in this tutorial we are going to learn that how we can make panorama from a still image in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 and we will also upload that in Facebook and show you how that will work. Now since I have already created that image in in uh, Adobe Photoshop and now I have uploaded that and you can see we can just see that image in 360 and as you are looking it is completely working fine now see everything is great and it is 360 now let's see how we are going to make that effect in Adobe Photoshop 2018 now for that first you have an image like I have that Robit and I have placed my name here as well as you are going to see that and its resolution is a bit high as well but remember that when you are going to make your image that should be a uh, 1 and 2 resolution for example uh, let me just show you what I mean and if you have the width of that image for for example 400 then the height should be 200 uh, 2000 sorry and if it is 3000 then the half of 3000 should be 1500 and if it is 1000 then you can make 500 its height it means you have to make the ratio 1 and 2 and you are going to make that uh, document for example I have uh, now 300 and 3000 and 1500 and you are going to create but let me close that one and show you that image that the resolution of that is 3000 by uh, 1500 and that is the ratio which we have just created for that a panorama which you are going to use in your Facebook now after that you are going to come in filter and no sorry in 3d and in spherical panorama and you have that new panorama layer from selected layers and now selected layer is my layer number one which is that image and I am going to click that one and you can see the magic right now and it will convert your that image to spherical now see everything else has been just created now you can just rotate that image anywhere see and yes that is completely magic and it is very useful while you are making different images from uh, steel and making that in a pa pa uh, panorama and using in your Facebook and in different platform in Facebook like in your fans page in group or in your profile now one thing else I'm going to tell you that if you want to edit or want to write some text then you can also do that for example if we have a spherical map here you can double click that one and after that you will see you got your that image in here and now let me just write something here photoshop tutorial okay now let me just change its color to white and maybe change its height little bit and we are going to bring that here and that's it and you are going to save that one save that and you will find that in your spherical image as well now let's load that one and bring it like my name and you can see that Jim Shedraza and it is professional it is a Photoshop tutorial and it is very easy if you are going to add something or you are going to edit something you have to come in that map and you should edit that one and it will bring that effect in your panorama and one thing more before closing the tutorial you are going to uh, previously when you are going to save your image you just did that like save as 
and doing like jpg but in case of panorama you will not do anything like save as or save you will just come in 3d and click spher uh, spherical panorama and export panorama and then you can just save that for example i have already saved that and that is panorama ps.jpg and i have uploaded that one as well now let me do once again and save that as well and i'm going to write facebook panorama and save and nothing else required for that one in previous version of photoshop you have to convert it that to in pan panorama and you were doing some sort of extra things but now we don't need okay now let me just come here and for two and we are going to just uh, what was the name panorama maybe or no face panorama right we are going to open that and you can see now see 360 sign is already here and you got that 360 sign and now we are going to post that one and you will see the 360 effect will be in this image now uh, it is nearly completed and let me just make it only me that no one see what I'm doing right now and we are going to write for example 360 effect in Photoshop Photoshop and post now and now 360 effect in Photoshop and you can see we have now 360 and I have edited that as well like we have here Jim Shadrza of Photoshop and you can exactly see whatsoever we have done or we have completed that one okay I hope you got the basic idea how we are going to make 360 image for Facebook um, at our Photoshop CC 2017 from a still image uh, please subscribe for more amazing tutorial and thank you so much